Hello again and welcome to the last session of this Excel 2016 Power Query tutorial. In this session, I will show you how to connect to SQL Server from Excel 2016 and automatically refresh the data in Excel and have what you have in SQL Server database as well. First, let me open this, this SQL Server query that I prepared to show you what we need to do. So basically, we'll um, use this Microsoft uh, testing database, AdventureWorks uh, Lite. Okay, it has a couple of tables, and these are the relations between the tables. Okay, and we'll need to extract those columns from those tables, considering that uh, they are related as presented here, and then to pivot them. This uh, SQL query will produce the following uh, result. Let me select also this one. Okay, so we'll have the sales by region and pivot it on years. Yeah, so this is the line total per year by region. Okay, and now I will uh, show you how simple it is to do this in uh, Excel. As you can see here, it is some uh, SQL code written. In Excel, it, you don't have to write this code. You do all visual. Okay, so first let's open a blank Excel. And uh, as you might guess, the first step is to connect to the SQL database. Yeah? So we'll select from here from SQL Server database. Here we put the server name. In this case, it's Andrei Lenovo slash SQL Express. OK. Press OK. We could write uh, the database name here as well, but I prefer to select it from the list that appears after you input the server name. OK, so this is the database which are, we are interested in. And I will select only this um, sales order detail table. Press edit. Because this contains from this one, you go and um, you can link the other tables. OK, and you'll see that in Excel, if you select this one, you will have also the relations and the related tables. Okay, and this is the data. Okay, and you see this data is from our uh, sales order detail. I will delete this, those columns because we don't need them. Okay, delete them. So I'll have line total, and then I'll need from here. the customer table and the, the order date. OK. From product, do we need something? No, we can delete this one as well. OK, so then from customer table, we will take the customer address. So you see, the, the tables are linked automatically. And here I can select the address table. And from here I can get the country region, which I am interested in. And that easy, I have all the data that I need here. I select this column, press transform to extract the year. The year. OK. And now if I want, I have all the data here. I just need to pivot it. OK, I'll select this column because this will be the pivoted column. Press pivot column, OK. And here the values column is the line total. Press OK. And we have all the data in here. I can move this one here. No, sorry. 
you write this and here change the name okay it will be region okay and now go to home close and load and we have the data to excel using this power query feature if we look here in sql server the results are the same for each year okay so i think it's a very it's straightforward this process of importing data from sql server to excel and the main advantage is that if here we put let's say for example let's modify a record so let's select all from this sales order detail i want this one okay and for example let's just say this one will put a hundred more here is from uh, mm, i don't have the year here so we'll add 100 at this line total yeah so to do this i will just update So it's the only line here. Where sales order detail ID is, I think, equals seven one seven seven six. What is wrong here? Sales order ID it is okay. Sorry. Okay, so I, we have only one record, and we want to update this table. Okay, by setting the unit price equals unit price plus 100 where this is the id okay and now if i select all from this table where this is the id you will see that we added 100 to this one we don't know exactly the year, but we'll see in Excel. And I, now I just right click and refresh the data. Okay, and you see that in 2016, we have 100 added. Let's say this amount, let's take the one from SQL Server. Uh, it's the same now, because I don't have the, the old amount, Control Z. So it's 357821. Three five seven seven to one. Okay, and if we refresh, is eight to one. So it is linked all the time to the database, and when uh, the data the data from the database changes, you can refresh and have the new data, the updated data in Excel. Okay, so this was the tutorial. Thank you very much for watching this, and see you soon.